Howard County Autism Society, I, I think is a wonderful resource. That's what you gain with a group. One or two families can't possibly achieve anything like that. Kids with autism are just like regular kids. The Howard County Autism Society has been just a, a gift to me. Because it connects parents of children of different age groups. Autism Society is about support, awareness, and advocacy. I think HCAS is awesome, and I think people with autism are awesome. The organization started back in the early 90s, 1993. Uh, just a group of parents who got together. Uh, autism was not uh, a word that was heard very often, not like it is now. Really what they accomplished as a grassroots organization with no staff for many, many years is just really pretty amazing. And it has grown to an organization with over 200 members and we look to see it growing even further in the future as more and more children are diagnosed with autism. So we're looking at now nationally 1 in 68 diagnosis, and that's from the CDC. Here in Maryland, the number is higher. It's about 1 in 55. Here in Howard County, we have the highest per capita rate of autism in the state, and we think that that's because people move here for the great services, the acceptance of the community. just fostering events within the community, fostering awareness, and finding ways where we can bring the community together and where the kids can feel like typical kids. There's an annual fundraising walk, and we make it really fun for the kids. We have donuts and bagels, we have a bounce house, we have a face painter. And so I think that not only my child, but other children in the community feel a sense of belonging. The organization itself has really done so much for so many people. Yeah. And our grandsons benefited from it. Tremendously. Support is the name of the game. It, when you have a group, you, you have a voice. I like to go to the pool party to see my friends. So for Trey, it's definitely a social thing. For me, it's a Business. network of people that understand the journey that we're going through. They all just provide that sense of community and that ability to get to have the parents talk to each other. And the kids can relax because the parents relax. I was offered so much information and support when Matt was young that I wanted to give back to other families. And I think that we have to support each other. It's a journey. It doesn't end when your child is an adult. There are other uh, transitional issues uh, and opportunities. So I feel like we're, we're there to support each other. Well, then we can go like we can go to like these events like Lifetime Fitness. We do go pool parties, have different activities like nature walks. I enjoy like getting exercise and like getting my energy out. All right. Kids with autism are just like regular kids in that they want a sense of community, they want friends, they want to socialize. Sometimes it's just more challenging for them to be able to do that because it's not as innate to them as it is to children that don't have a disability. Well, for several years I have played the piano at the Autism Society. One year my band even played rock music there when I played the keyboard. You have to have a goal early even though as a parent it's hard to even imagine that goal, but you have to have a goal and you find the gifts and talents early on and you capitalize on them and as they go through those steps, you just enhance them. I want to congratulate uh, everyone uh, associated with the Autism Society of Howard County for 25 years of phenomenal and very important services to the community. Um, I have watched over uh, my tenure as the Autism Society CEO 
the wonderful work uh, engaged by the volunteers and staff each and every day. Thousands in this community of Howard County are being helped and have smiles on their face because of the wonderful work uh, of everyone in this room. Thank you. The Autism Society offers much to those beyond just the person or the parent dealing with autism. Extended family as well, grandparents. I know my parents have been wonderful supporters of the Autism Society over the years uh, because they see how much it's enriched my life and their grandson's life. We've got awareness now. I think it's more going to be about acceptance now. That everyone here can be a, a contributing member of society. Well, there's a lot of things going on. I think there are more services in the public school system because of um, the Howard County Autism Society. I think there's a more emphasis now on trying to find housing. I think that's really good. It's not an easy thing. It's not easy to do. It's going to take a while, uh, but we need to have people who are going to be persistent. I am so in awe of what the parents who founded this organization have accomplished. Um, and, and again, it's just this grassroots determination to make the world a better place for their children and whatever they needed to do. They did so very systematically. They educated themselves. They've educated others. They've supported each other. Is there more to do? Yes. But certainly, I think we're a model for how a community can you know, address a population of autism with such a great response and support.